Hi, hey, welcome back to my channel. And day five of the September Butlins vlog series. I look a bit of a state today, but I always do on the last day. I always think I'm gonna make an effort this time, this series. But it gets to the Friday and I'm like, I can't. <laughs> it's all the rushing around, not rushing around trying to pack. I did start packing yesterday. But it's all that trying to pack and everything. And then get ready and then get Oliver ready and I just, ugh, I haven't got it in me. So, um, yeah, that is us done in this room. It's, what time is it? Let me see. What time is it? It's 8.27. And Oliver's already ready to go, already packed. We've done everything. We just need to do the last check. I've just been charging my phone and my watch. So there, there, I've got my keys already. Let's just check. The fridge is all empty. Yeah, you will ignore that rubbish. This is all empty. Yeah. While I'm doing this, you can see roughly what's in the room. There's a. Ooh, this isn't even open. I open. No, we meant to leave that open so the next person can reset it. But never mind, we didn't use it anyway. Oliver, don't touch anything. Because, oh, I need to move the beds back. The beds were two singles. I moved them to a double. So, we've got this stuff for the car in there and just uh, like his toilet seat in there. These toys and the suitcases. And that is it. I seem to do the last checks under the bed and move the bed back and everything because I forgot about that. But that is it. I was, I was planning on doing a room tour, but it's such as like a basic room there's nothing to really tour so i'll just oh, did i show you the last suit i can't remember i'll just show you quickly now so you're walking through that door you've got the bathroom here not yet you've got the bathroom here there's the light gone there it is oh, ignore the towels on the floor um you've got the bath toilet sink oh yeah our drinks i do need to i'll just fill them up with water I do need to move those. You've got the thing here, the light switch, the temperature, which obviously we didn't use. Um, then you've got a wardrobe here. It's got some hangers. Some space at the top that I can't reach, so we ignore that. <laughs> iron, ironing board. And bed. We've got a TV, yes, and I've got our coats. And that is it. And then you've got the fridge under there. Another, which you just saw, um, wardrobe there. You've got a hairdryer underneath. And that is the room. You know, the curtains are quite a nice design. You can see, thank you. You can see the rooms do need updating a bit because of things like this and um, bits like this. But, as I said in my July series, I have seen so many painter decorators around. So Oliver's getting, you know when they just get impatient and they just start getting, not naughty, naughty's the wrong word. They just start getting up to mischief. That is what he's doing. He keeps picking things up and giving them to me when I know where they are. Like he's saying to him, just leave it alone. I know where it is, just leave it. <laughs> but he's still picking things up and... And that's how things get forgotten but anyway yeah i have seen a lot of painted decorators around so i know all the rooms are sort of getting updated and stuff well i i assume i assume that's why i've seen them around so um yeah it's 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 clean um, like i said in my previous series the rooms are clean they're spotless you cannot fault them at all on anything they're just a bit they just need a little bit of touching up that's all they need um Everything else, you know, it's fine. It just needs, it just needs like a little bit of TLC. But like I said, I have seen people um, in painting things and with decorating bits and stuff. So I assume that they are doing all of that. But we're going to start, I'm going to put the beds back to as they were. And we will get started. Oh, it's gone under the bed. There's space under there where Oliver's just gone for the suitcase. Oh, I'm not making a witch of the West instead of a house dropping on him. It's a bed. But yeah, I'm going to go for all this back now and start 
getting out of this room, which does make me sad, but we are back in October, so not that long to wait. Just thought I'd show you quickly how the beds are supposed to look. If you have a, is this a twin room with the two beds? And you want a double room, like for me and Oliver, you know, it's easier to pull the beds together. So we've both got a bigger bed and, and everything. Um, all you need to do is, these beds are on wheels. They move so easily. Let me just try and step over this child. These just slot out. So I just take them out pull the beds together and then I put these both of them on my side for drinks and stuff in the night so that's them and you also get your light switches and everything so yeah, I just thought I'd show you that quickly if you have a twin room and you want a double room just take slot those out pull the beds together and job done that is the car parked bit of advice for you which I always think I'm going to do every time, but I never do. If you can, put everything in your car the night before. Just leave out the stuff you're going to need for the morning. And then just carry that down the stairs. Because the lifts are a nightmare. They are, everyone's going up and down. So it's always full and it's, it takes ages to get up and down the lift. So if you can, take the advice. I keep telling myself that I never actually do. But, put everything in the car the night before. Just leave out the stuff you need to for the morning and then just carry that down the stairs it will save you a lot of time a lot of stress and be a lot easier I know it is all muddy isn't it it is okay I'm just filming the last, well not the last bits, but, oh dear, come on. I told myself I was only going to bring this bag because, oh my gosh, this is not a flattering look, but we'll go with it. <laughs> um, I told myself I was going to bring that bag because I didn't want to carry a lot, but then when I've got to carry food and drinks and everything, the bag just got heavy, I was like, oh, let's carry it on my back and then jumpers and in case it gets cold and so that's why I've got the other bag feather. found a feather wow jumpers and in there so and I keep the jumpers in here just because it's easier to get to so I can dig around in the bag with this lunchbox in the bag when that gets moved I have to take everything out to repack it to put it back in the pot it's, it's not raining darling is it? I didn't feel it. I do love that these things are all open. So you get to have a bit more of a last day. It is, it is nice. Makes it a bit more, a bit more fun. Also, what's nice about time in the morning is there's no one else around so I can film a bit more. <laughs> wow, that looks so much fun! <laughs> he is so obsessed with this fire truck. Even when I haven't got any pound coins, he just likes to sit in it and pretend. <laughs> Baby! I'm catching you. You're catching me? Oh no! Let's exchange Oliver's tickets from the last few times we come because we only get about probably 20 or you know 50 or so. We don't get much. But you've won. What have you won? You've got a lollipop, a creepy crawly, and a ball. So that's not bad. We've got 260 out of like the last three or four times we've come in. So I thought we'll do it now so we could go have something and then. We'll start the whole process again <laughs> next time we come. How cute is this little rainbow dog? I am so tempted to get it. It is so cute. I haven't noticed any other new key rings. But as you know, rainbow is my favourite. I just love rainbow. But just how cute. I really want it. What do you want? Oliver wants a button stop. <laughs> 
Don't think anything else. Oliver, don't think anything else has really changed. Dolls are still there. I think all these pins are the same as well. I haven't seen, I haven't noticed their difference. Someone who actually collects them might be like, oh yeah. But. These all seem to be the same. <laughs> Again, I really wish they did adult sizes because I'd actually buy that for myself. <laughs> Sad as it is. You've got the little Billy and Bonnie Robin Hood plushies. I think they've been there for a while as well. But they are just so cute. Sorry. One thing I have noticed is different is these pillows. I ha there's, there's no pip one. <laughs> but how blooming lovely are these pillows? And again, we have this bag and we have this that they sign every time we come just to make memories for Oliver so we can look back one day these are still here Oliver Oliver's getting impatient I just thought I'd quickly show you around the shop while I can I think all the Billy and Bonnie stuff are the same <laughs> and then you've still got these water bottles here and a Butlin study Sorry, I would have shown you around a bit more in depth, but Oliver is getting so impatient. That he wants to go in the soft place. So. But that's, <laughs> I don't think much else is, I haven't seen anything else since the last time I came that's new other than the pillows. So hopefully, Pip will be there. She's your favourite, the Pip pillow, <laughs> if you come, if you want it. But it was a bit sad not seeing put one because I think Oliver would have wanted that. But we'll see you next time. It's weird, all the chairs have gone. I'm assuming it's an adult's break at the weekend, I have no idea. Thank you. But never seen it so empty with all the chairs. It looks so strange and I've got nowhere to sit. <laughs> That's where all the chairs and table went. <laughs> the just goes, wow, there's so many chairs. <laughs> That's what, I did wonder to be fair. No darling, there's someone in that one. I did wonder where they went. <laughs> Can you do it? You are driving. Wow. You're catching me again. Well, no. Also, the animal encounter, who we never actually got to do, is completely gone now. And this is here. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I have no idea. If anyone knows, let me know down in the comments because I really want to know what this is going to be. But I'm kind of gutted, I always wanted to do the animal encounter. I've completely lost Oliver now. Oh dear, which way did he go? Okay, yesterday Oliver wandered off, he was doing the Tots Disco, and I saw him in one of the red coats. He was, he was there, like he was standing in one of the red coats. Bent down, picked my bag up, went over to where he was. Wow, that's a lot of feathers. Um, bent down to pick my bag up. Look, it is closed, darling. So I went, <laughs> picked my bag up, looked, and I couldn't see him anywhere. I went up to that red coat and I said, where's Oliver? She goes, oh, he was here a second ago. Looked, couldn't find him anywhere. He'd only gone and ran to the door. The skyline going to come out. So, he uh, literally a split second. And just now, oh, and I was showing you what was over there. As soon as I put the thing down, he'd gone. I don't know where he went. He just completely gone. So by skyline going door again. So if Oliver ever gets lost, apparently he just runs to the 
to the door. So what's the skyline game come out? Yesterday terrified me. Just he was there. Even Rocco Hayes was like he was just here. I just saw him. And I, I don't know how he got there so quick. But just now. Couldn't find him anywhere. I went straight to the magic circle thinking that's where he would have gone. But no. He ran to the door. Even though he knows the sky going on here today, he still ran to the door. At least I know he's got a spot where he goes and he runs off. It seems to be a running theme now. <laughs> I really didn't start using cash so I get change. Kind of the problem nowadays, isn't it? You don't use cash. Well, I don't use cash. I always use my card. It's a habit of the lockdown and COVID and everything. I've only been able to use cards. But now I just never have cash. I never have change to save. But um, I can get money out and change it and stuff. But I don't know. It seems to be more expensive that way rather than just saving your bank coins as you got them. Where are we going now? There. What is this thing? Oliver's now found this. Just watching it is making me want to throw up. I don't know how anyone can sit in these things and do it. I mean, I'm already... He is so tired. I put it in there to keep it from getting dirty. It's that thing where I'm thinking I do not want to wait until 7 o'clock at night to drive home. At the same time I do not want to wait and travel. If it's on a nicer day, you'd be like, yeah. But it should be fine. Oliver just said he wants an ice cream. I said, that means you can't have one later. No, 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 I want one. And because he knows when he's a good boy, he gets his help and carry the bag. Because he wants an ice cream. He's carrying a bag because he wants an ice cream. <laughs> Got a Smarties push up ice cream. You probably can't really see how windy it is out there. I'm so, I'm looking at the time and it's gone up to three hours again. Which, after seven o'clock, it took me two hours to get home. But you know, you just think, do I just want to be outside all day? I don't know. So, um, I probably will. I am not one to be stuck in traffic. I just can't. But I told him, if he has that, no, we can't have one later. And he was like, okay. So, we'll see how that goes. Everywhere is just so quiet and peaceful. I don't know where we're going. We're just wandering. Wandering around. I think I am just going to stay in Bognor, I'll just park over there and just stay around here. Everything's closed. It's 12 o'clock now. So I was thinking about staying on resort to like one, jump your site one. But Oliver's desperate to get to the beach. She'll probably leave now, take a slow walk back to, well I'll say so about the ocean. It's going to take like two minutes to walk there. Okay then. But go go. which one? Which one? Um, okay, come on then. It's this way. You need to go back to the car then and drive there. I've decided we'll probably just stay in Bogner. It's last time Oliver was very tired and very morning asleep, but I didn't know think to drive to any other beach. Um it seems all right today. And while it's not, while the weather's all right, he'll, he'll have a lot of fun. And he's asking to go to the park on the beach, so it'll be nice. It's Even though I'm coming back in about four weeks, this still makes me very sad. By the time you're watching this, I'll be back. And I needed this week. It's been so much fun. We've had a laugh with so many red coats. Come on then. You got the hill then. I'll, I'll be down this bit. You go up the hill, I'll be on this bit. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, I've had so much fun with all the red coats and all the gang and even like other guests. It's just, it's lovely. It's a lovely atmosphere here. And we are officially off site. Oliver waited at my car. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him because I know I'm just going to wait here. I don't trust you. <laughs> I am. Right, let's go for that 30 second drive to the car park. <laughs> I just wish I could just stay here. Yes, we'll go to the beach now. Bye bye, Blacklands. I mean, let's face it, we didn't come far. <laughs> oh. The train? Well, you want to go this way, the train goes the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Oliver has just fallen over, haven't you? Let me see your face. It's just cut his cheek and his chin. I don't know if you... You can't see, he's not looking. But you're okay, aren't you? You had a little cry, but you're okay. Mommy. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Where are you going now, Oliver? Ah, oh, it's windy. <laughs> Come in. Had some food. Got a drink. Well, Oliver hasn't eaten anything. I've enjoyed mine very much. But I think he is getting very, very tired. It's only past three, we've just left the Bruce Fair. Oh, I was playing in the park. It's raining, on and off. And everything is wet and slippery. But he insisted on leaving. A nice warm place. There's the beach. You know where you wonder, like when I get home, and I'm just over two hours, I'm kind of think, thank God I did. But the minute I'm thinking, if I'd left, I'd probably be nearly home by now. <laughs> ah, these stones. Oh, is that how we get over? Okay. Good figuring out. Now what do we do? Go on the train. Go on the train? Yeah. I don't see the train as we're walking down. Let's have a look. So it's about nearly six o'clock at night. So we've got about half an hour, an hour before I leave. I haven't really done much. We went back into the, had a little play on the beach. Then we came back to the park where we played in the sand bit over there then. We came back into the park, then we went into the Brewers Fair again. Just had a coffee while I have a play because it's, it's, it's started raining, so. We are back in the park, as you can see. We'll stay here for about an hour. An hour, half an hour, and then so start walking back. I think, hopefully by then traffic will be all right. I'm starting to just think, sort of, how petty am I that I just don't like anybody else just hate being stuck in traffic? Is anyone else like me that would rather wait around for hours just to avoid traffic? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's lovely. We've spent the day at the beach, so, well, the afternoon. Because um, obviously, it was at Butlins until 12. But I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong, you know, we spent the day at the beach. But. You know you mean it's just on your mind, like the drive's just on your mind. Is anyone else like me? Or are you, I'd rather be stuck in traffic knowing I'm getting somewhere rather than just killing time. <laughs> Let me know! <laughs> you want it to stop slowly? Okay. It's six o'clock. Traffic say in two hours, 26 minutes. Something for the sake of 26 minutes. <laughs> Might as well start going. And by the time we actually get to the M25, we'll be about seven anyway. 
so that should be pretty free, free flowing. Hopefully nothing will happen. But no accidents or anything to delay us, but it should be pretty free flowing. I think Oliver has had the best week and I think he is absolutely exhausted. <laughs> you wanna go home? We are going home now, Dad. So you back to the car. He wants to carry. Of course he does. I mean, it is a beautiful beach. It's an extremely beautiful beach. And I like that under all the stones is sand. So you can still make little sand castles. Just got back in the car. Butlin's behind me. And I will wish me luck, wish me um, wish me luck on the way home, even though this is in the future. But um, I'll try not to let you and me get home. I'll try not to forget this time. <laughs>